Hey, this is John. I'm the Director of Web Development at Ascend and My Marketing. And if you are a WordPress developer looking to develop on HubSpot, then this is the video series for you. Let's get started. All right, you awesome WordPress developer, let's get you comfortable developing themes in HubSpot. Let's look at what we're going to build and the tools we're going to use to build it. First off, we're going to build this properties theme. There's going to be a uh, a listings or archive page with all of our properties and then individual pages for each individual property. And we have a WordPress properties theme. And this properties theme has a custom post type with a custom taxonomy and a lot of custom fields. And this theme also, uh, you know, will use Gutenberg blocks on some pages. And then you might encounter a theme in the wild that, you know, the marketer wanted to use some kind of page builder. So we're going to look at translating all of these types of content to our HubSpot theme. And we're going to use uh, a lot of tools in HubSpot to use to build this. We're going to use HubDB, custom templates, and even custom modules. Uh, now, if you don't know what those are, that's OK. We're going to go through what each of those are and the similarities and kind of equivalent parts that they have in WordPress. That way, you know, things are kind of familiar to you. Um, but before we go on to the next video and look at the Hubble syntax, I do want us to look at the tools that we're going to be using initially to build our theme. And we are going to draw heavy inspiration from the HubSpot CMS theme boilerplate. As a matter of fact, we're going to fork it and use it to make our own theme. And we'll go ahead and dive into different parts of the of the theme and you'll be able to see how similar things are to WordPress. Another tool that we're going to be using is the HubSpot VS Code extension and VS Code in general. That's the editor that I'll be using. I highly suggest that you use it along with me. And um, this tool is authored by HubSpot, so it's going to be very helpful whenever you're looking at Hubble syntax highlighting. And it's even going to give you some featured uh, snippets um, and quick ways to build modules. Now, Hubble itself is HubSpot's templating language, and it's a handlebars language. So if you are a super PHP developer and you've developed with blade syntax, this is going to be smooth sailing for you. If you haven't, fear not, because I find that Hubble is much easier to read and write than PHP. Lastly, we're going to use HubDB to house our real estate data. Now, if you are a user with enterprise access or your client is, you should consider using CRM custom objects for your data source. But since HubDB is available to CMS Hub Pro users and up, we're going to use HubDB. It's also a little bit simpler to understand as we don't have to grasp the CRM side of things. So for simplicity's sake, we're also going to use HubDB. Now, finally, let's dive into the next video and take a look at Hubble. We're going to take a look at the differences between Hubble and PHP. I'll see y'all there.